That's not what she wanted. Just off the fairway in the first cut. Going with the 9 iron, I think. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Okay, steady now. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Job done. Let's head to the next. She's currently in fifth spot. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Second shot on the second. Well, a little off the target with that one. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. And here we are with their four. And this next putt, it's for bogey. That's half a chance of being hold this one. And that's for a bogey. Unfortunately, moving down the leaderboard, that's not the direction to be heading. Teeing off here at the third hole. Absolutely flushed. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Wind's blowing from left to right. They're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. That approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Air mailed the green with that approach. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. I well, hope she makes this one because it's for par. This one's looking good. Just couldn't quite get it to drop. And that putter's hold, and that means it's back-to-back -back bogeys, unfortunately. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. T is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. Chance to move inside the top 20 if you can hold this putt. It's on a great line. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Wow, that was just striped. Right. 
going with the eight iron here. Wonderfully played. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Looking really good. Ooh. And that should secure the par. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Well, I'm sure she'll take that one. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. A chance for the top 10 here if you can make this. Looking great now. Parpuck coming up here. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Currently at two over par. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? This shot here near the 200 yard marker. Only a few shots off the pace. Looks like they've got the five wood. Close to the surface here, and the green side rough. Just put right on 10 feet, a good one to make. Hey, nice looking line. Ah, that's frustrating. That was pretty straightforward. And Gary Woodland currently leaving the field as I speak. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. This one might roll into the rough. Well, Rich, in the thick stuff here, not a good spot to be. Well, this should be unpredictable. Don't know what you're going to get from the golfing gods here. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. And that will drop in for birdie. Into the top 10 she goes. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. We have a par three on this one. Good birdie on the last. What's in store now? Opting for the hybrid, I think. Uh, that's out to the right for sure. Time for the second shot here at the ninth. Getting ready to play their third. Three strokes off the lead. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Not a bad line, this. Could putt that. Now four back after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. It looked like it came out of a cannon. Chosen the pitching wedge here. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Not taking enough club to get it there. And here we are with the third shot. Currently four shots off the pace. If she makes this, it'll be a good par. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. The putt goes in and that's back-to-back -back bogeys. 
Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Have to see if they can rebound from that. Currently at plus three for the round. Teeing off here at the 11th. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. From around 180 yards out. Five strokes behind our leader. Looks to be going with the six iron. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the pace. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Looks good off the blade. Ouch, that hurts. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Gary Woodland is one stroke clear of the field. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Just let that shot be water off a duck's back. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. Going with the pitching wedge here. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. Butting for birdie. Ooh, right by the hole. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Now six strokes back after that hole. We have a par four on this one. Pretty good shot there. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Pretty good win back into the player's face. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. 13 feet to the cup. And there it is. And with that effort, now three over for the day. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. That's heading for the fairway. Playing this shot from around 120 yards. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, well played. 18 feet to the cup. Oh, just missed. If you can make this one. It's for par. And down she goes. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. You've arrived at a par five. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Time now to play the second shot on the 15th hole. Going with a three wood here. And here we are with the third shot. Five shots off the lead. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. A couple over now, heading towards the stretch. A good chance to fight back. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. We have a par three on this one.
This would be a great up and down from this spot. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. She's currently tied for 12. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. Wow, that was just striped. And playing this one from around 120 yards out. Wind's blowing from left to right. We're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Well, she should be happy with that. Anywhere on the green was a good shot. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Yeah, a bit long on that one. This putt's about four feet from the hole. This next putt is for bogey. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the A-team. Not a bad line, this one. This shot here from about 240 yards. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Always like the aggressive play, going forward in two and get rewarded for it. Get excited. This could go in. Oh, that would be an outstanding to make the eagle. Her work is done here. That will be all she wrote. Well, Rich, a top 20 finish. I'm thinking that they'll be pleased, but I wish I could have done a bit more this week. Am I right? Absolutely. As good as this player is, top 20 finish is just okay in their world. Obviously, lots of parts of the game still need some attention. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby and Rich Bean, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow. Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. We're at the 3M Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam and we're in Minnesota. TPC Twin Cities to be exact. How's this opening hole fair? Uh, it's a soft opening. 426 yard par 4 for the back. And the fairway bunker down the right hand side, that really doesn't come into play. So players are going to take driver, blow it over there. They're going to have a very short second shot. It's just a soft opening. Not much to this hole. The only way you can really mess it up is if you really overthink it and miss it left off the tee or hit it wide right out of bounds. But all in all, it doesn't get any easier than this, Luke. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. 
Can't wait to see what happens. She's top quality player this one. Second shot here on the first. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? I'm thinking 28 feet to the cup from here. Not sure if they understood the lie of the land there, Rich. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. 
starting the round at even par. This hole here is a par four. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Setting up miles from the hole. He's up, Tiger. Good chance, this one. Right on six feet. Oh, so close. And this one will be for bogey. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. She's currently tied for 11th. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. You've arrived at a par four. Time for the second shot into the third. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And that's all she wrote. She's in a share of 12th place. Here we are in front of a par three. Going with the six iron here. It's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. What a shame. Has hit a lot of greens today, just not on this occasion. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. That's well hold. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. From about 130 yards here. Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. That's not the outcome they're after. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. Ooh. Well, that was the number, no doubt about that. Nicely done. Well, I don't mind this par putt. Well done. Currently at plus one for the tournament. Gotta like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Well, this could alter the line of the shot. That's tidy. Well, Rich, the 3M Open was a recently new addition to the PGA Tour schedule. Now that it's had a full season, players seem to get a five for the course. And what are your insights? I think after the first year, yes, players are going to have a better understanding of what it takes to, to best take on this golf course. And that's what players like. They don't really like it when they go to golf courses for the first time and not really understand how the golf course is going to play. They should have a really good idea of what happened last year. In saying that, they still need to go out there and figure out the nuances. I don't think they totally got a hold of them all last year. So this year, it's still kind of a learning process. Overall, though, I think the tournament's going to be exciting. It's going to be wide open. A number of different players playing well right now. I don't want to say it's anybody's ball game, but let's face it. In Minneapolis, it's seemingly anybody can win. And the other beauty of it is, too, is it's a full-blown PGA Tour event. You get the exemptions that come with it, the opportunities that flow off success here. So why treat it any differently? Well, you don't, and I think the players understand that. 
it is going to be a good opportunity for some of those underlying pros that we haven't heard a whole lot from burst through onto the scene, possibly get their first win or at least be in contention, get a taste of it on the PGA Tour for the first time. So there's opportunities abound. But I still go back to the players that have been playing well coming in this event. I think they're going to carry on, and this is a good opportunity to get them over that threshold and get that first win of the season. Spot the all-important top five awaits if you can hold this putt. And that's the kind of fighting spirit that keeps a good round going. And that'll put a little pep in your step up and down from the bunker in for the birdie. Good job. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Going with the five iron here. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. This would be a great up and down. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after this hole, that's how it looks. And that'll ensure she stays level with the card. We have a par five on this one. Good looking shot this. From about 200 yards out, just three back from the leader. Looks to be going with the five iron. Getting ready to play their third. Three behind our leader. What happened there? That's not your best effort. Playing their fourth shot. Only a few shots off the pace. went down this punt is about 17 feet long it was on a good line putting for bogey looking good that limits the damage trailing by four strokes We've reached the beginning of the back nine. The tee is yours at the 10th. That was absolutely murdered. <laughs> and as they stand over this putt, it's for a sheer third spot. Opportunity to make their par. Well, that'll affect the momentum. Bogey putt coming up here. Uh, just can't seem to get off the bogey train here, Rich. Yeah, making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. And a little slide down the leaderboard happening. Make sure you respond quickly. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Looking to bounce back after that bogey, and they've got a great opportunity here. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Two over for the day in a share of ninth position. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? You know, Luke, I've heard this metaphor before. Every once in a while, a blind squirrel finds an acorn. I believe that rings true in this scenario. Yeah, not much to sweat there. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Teeing off here on the 12th hole.
the bed. And here we are with the third shot. Four strokes off the lead. Nicely done. Running up the birdie putt here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? This is a par putt. And that puddle drop. Well done. Now three strokes back after that hole. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Opting for the three wood. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Good stroke. Ooh. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Sitting at three over for the event. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Absolutely tattooed that one. Second shot here on the 14th. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Uh-oh, this one's heading to the hazard. Time now for the fourth shot. Four shots behind our leader. And choosing the eight iron here. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Tracking. How did that miss? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Trailing by six shots after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. That double bogey on the last hole, well, it's going to leave a mark. There's no doubt about it. That is right down the sprinkler line. This shot coming from around the 150-yard marker. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. That's a pretty handy shot. This putt is of nine feet. If it's up, it could be in. Ooh. Putting for par. Ooh, nice line. Solid par putt, that. Justin Thomas is our current leader. And Rich, here we are at the 16th at TPC Twin Cities. And not a long hole, but there's plenty of trouble around. Water right, bunkers left, but let's face it, Luke, not a long hole, no need for the driver. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. This one's heading left, I think. They're well played. 16 feet to the cup. And this one is for her par. And down it goes. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard with a two-stroke lead. Here we are at the penultimate hole of TPC Twin Cities, Rich, and there's water everywhere on this short par three. Water to the left, Luke. Bunkers out to the right. If you're going to find the green, you better be brave. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Wow, that almost went in the hole. She needs this to save par. Well hold. Justin Thomas has built a two-stroke advantage over the field. Well, Rich, this finishing hole at TPC Twin Cities really sets up for a dramatic finish, doesn't it? 
risk versus reward. 583 yards. If you hit a big drive, you can take on the green in two. Uh, run up in the canopy of the trees. Well, this is ambitious. She looks to be attacking the pin here. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that one just missed the hole. This part is for a final score of 76. That starts off on a good line. And with that putt, concludes this player's round. Well, Rich, it was great to share these moments with you and all the folks at home. Lovely being alongside you as well, Luke. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.